the Lax Factor Podcast. What is up? You're watching another episode of the Lax Factor Lacrosse Film Review, and today we're going to watch a bunch of clips of guys catching the rock fully loaded, ready to unleash fury on the opposing team's goalie, and we're going to start by watching a clip of Logan Wisnowskis doing this exact thing on a dish from Kyle Long. So let us get into it, and I'll uh, kind of shut up and we'll start watching clips. You're going to see Long come down the alley here. Now Wisnowskis catches and shoots. Now, I want to watch that again, and this time I'm going to stop it and kind of explain what it is exactly that we're looking for. Okay, so here we go. Notice, Wisnowskis, he's going to have to come down to catch this. So he's not catching this fully loaded, but he's going to catch, load, and release very quickly. As he catches the rock, you're going to see he's going to immediately kind of receive the ball, and as he's receiving the ball, like it's a soft, supple egg, He's going to put his stick behind his body, and then in one motion, as he's receiving the ball, he's going to get his feet set and then just get right into the step-down shooting motion. And uh, I didn't even need to draw on it, actually, and it's, it's actually pretty filthy. Boom. You see that? He receives the rock. He steps down. He lets it rip. So we'll watch it a couple of times here, and I'll stop it and rewind it at each point. Boom. Receives the rock. Notice he receives the rock. He's catching getting into a shooting motion, and then letting it rip all in one shot. We're going to watch another one here. This is of St. Joe's against Yale in the NCAA tournament. And then just look how subtle and quick that was. I mean, that's just ridiculous here. Who is this? Anderson from St. Joe's, and he's back. And there it's a catch and load. He's not loaded. He's just – he reloads very quickly after he catches the rock. Here we go. This is not f catching it loaded. This is catching and loading very quickly. You see, I mean, before the cameraman even gets over to him, he's already letting it rip. This will be a better angle of it. Catch, load, unleash. But his feet are already set, so all he has to do is kind of just make sure that rock, that one little rock to get the ball back, make, you know, to get the stick behind your head, the ball, you're rocking the ball up where you want it to be on your throw string as you're getting ready to, to let it go. We're going to see another one here. This is going to be a man up version of this once again not he doesn't catch it fully loaded loads up as he's stepping down so this is kind of more of a delayed version of this and we're going to watch it again and you see here he catches the rock and and this is a little bit slower in terms of the prep he wasn't loaded when he caught it but you can see as soon as he receives it Ball's back, and now we're in the step-down motion. Both feet are set. He's got his shoulder pointed at the cage, and all he has to do from here is just step down and let it rip, which he does. Watch it one more time. As he's receiving the ball, getting his feet set, steps down, and lets it go. Now, this one is this one borderlines. The next one we're going to watch... This one borderlines on an, an actual quick stick because, I mean, there's a big difference between catching the ball loaded, ready to go, and actually letting loose with a quick stick. And you can see here, that is almost a quick stick that we saw right there, but I consider this kind of catching, loading up, and, and letting it go partly because of the distance involved in it. So let's watch that again. We don't have to go all the way back. We're going to see the dodge down. All right, right there. That's pretty much catching it loaded up. His feet are set. He's ready to go. Feet are set. Ball is behind his head. So you see here, as he's catching that ball, this is where I'm saying it borderlines on a quick stick because he doesn't even need the kind of to rock the ball into his stick to load up. He's simply receiving it and then letting it go. I think this is on the, on the edge of being um, the difference between a quick stick and catching one and unleashing it loaded. But I, I still think it's a pretty good example because of the distance involved. Anytime you're in the area of this, this high crease, you don't need to get the full motion of a shot in. So in here, you can see feet are both planted, received the ball, bringing it back, and without even rocking the ball into the head of his stick or higher up into his stick to let it go, he pretty much quick sticks it into the, into the rack. But, you know, let me get rid of my thing here. All right, here we go. We're going to back it up just a smidge. 
See what I mean? Already there and then just lets it go right away. So that's almost a quick stick, but I still consider that a outside enough shot. And we'll see a better angle of it here, kind of slow-mo. Nice feed, steps down, rips it. And the reason I don't call that a quick stick is he does get the full shooting motion in without having to have that added motion of rocking the ball up into his stick. So we'll see another version of that. This one's from Buttermore, another one from Syracuse. And this is going to be similar, near quick stick. Let's watch that again. There was not a whole lot of fanfare around that. So we'll stop right here. All right, so what you're going to see, it's Buttermore right here is who we're watching, this guy right here. And once again, you're going to see as the ball is getting to him, his feet are already going to be set. His shoulder is going to be facing his target, and he is just going to let it rip all in one motion. You see that? That's a little bit less of a quick stick and a little bit more of loading, you know, pretty much catching the ball loaded, feet ready, and then letting it go. I don't even, I don't know that there's going to be a replay on this one. Yep, there is. Let's see it again. You see his feet are set, and he lets it go before the cameraman can even get over to him. All right, now we're going to see another one here. This is going to be... And a version of Albany doing this against Syracuse. This is in the game that Albany beat Syracuse here. First time Syracuse had played at Albany. And this is going to be a pretty solid example. That is catching and loading up, you know, stepping down into the shot as you're going. You know, you can call it a, a step down in that case because you're stepping down into the shot as the ball's getting there. But the key here is that they're catching the ball, ready to load up, and then let it rip right off the bat. Let's see the replay. And sometimes the replays can't even keep up with these. If you're doing it right, the replay will have a hard time. Catching, loading, unleashing. I want to see the original. I think that was a slightly better example. We could just see it a little bit better. So as the dodge comes in, there's the double. Great two-man game there. And once again, same thing. This is just a classic step down. The idea being here, though, that you see he's already getting his feet set so that as he receives the ball... Oh, we got a little bit of a glitch. He can let it go. Loads up high. This is going to be... Now, this one is a great example because the feed is not perfect on this example here. The ball is going to go to X, and what you're going to see is the feed's going to be a little bit high, and he's going to have to catch, but you can see he's already ready to go. Look how quickly he receives that pass and then in one motion gets right into the shooting flow here. Let's watch this again. Steps down, lets it rip. That is that is beautiful because the feed is not right in the box. He's forced to go up for it here. But you can, and in this case here, you see his feet, by the time it's hitting a stick, his feet are not ready to go. But watch how quickly from here he's going to receive the ball. And as he's just naturally loading it up and bringing the ball back, he's stepping down and getting his feet into shooting position, getting his shoulder aimed at the cage. That might be the ugliest drawing that I've ever put on here. Look at that. Just loads up and unleashes Fury very quickly. That is a great example right there. Not a perfect feed, but get right into the shooting motion and make the most of it. Anthony DeMeo had a great season for, he had a great career actually at Maryland overall as a midfielder, goal scorer, kind of, could kind of do it all. All right, here we go. See how quickly he steps into that shot, steps down, steps into that shot. Not the greatest feed, catch, and, and you say not the greatest feed, but it, maybe it was exactly where it needed to be to get over the head of the defense. Beautiful stroke. My wife would tell me that sounds perverted. Oh, that's the angle I want to see. This is the angle. Look at that. Receives the ball, gets his feet set. Let's it go. And then this is going to be the last one. And this one, once again, this he has so much time to load up here, he's actually going to double clutch this a little bit. Notice that. He catches, and he could have let that go right away. 
He doesn't, though. He realizes, wait a minute, I got time. No one's here. And he double clutches before he unleashed his fury uh, into the back of the net here. We're going to watch this a couple of times. This is the last one. So the idea here just being if you are a shooter and if you are in a position to shoot, if you, you're open, your hands are free, and you have time to do this, why wait? Why catch the ball, figure out what you're going to do? Catch the rock ready to go. Catch the rock with your feet underneath you. I'm going to draw on this here as we're going to pause it. All right, you see, I mean, it's this simple, and this is kind of what we'll close with here. Sticks up, sticks ready. Even in this feed, it's not perfect. It's a little bit low, which is kind of why he can catch and double clutch down here. But you look at his positioning. Feet are set, ready to step down into the shot. Shoulder already facing the target. That's another terrible arrow here. He's going to receive the ball, immediately bring his stick back behind his body, and then face the cage. You don't want to shoot this um, in, in – uh, you don't want to no-look these or anything like that, but – face the cage, and then let it go. So one more time, kids, that is how you do it. Catch the ball ready to shoot. Be a threat at all times, and good things will happen. The Lapse Factor Podcast.